You know, more and more people are going online to look for love. And as we approach Valentine's Day, we wanted to offer you a little help, a little nudge, if you will, that will give you more confidence online and maybe even help you find your soulmate. And here with more is Erica Etten, founder of A Little Nudge. Hey, young lady, how are Hi. you? Hi. Glad you're here. Glad Thank you for here. having me. So how did A Little Nudge get started? What's the idea behind it? Well, um... It is hard to write about yourself. Okay. Would you agree? Okay. And I agree. online dating is really time consuming. And a lot of people were coming to me and saying, you know, I want to meet someone, but I can't do this myself. And it gave me the idea wait a minute, I love writing. You know, I want to do this as okay. my job. I have the time. So um, so I started the business, called it A Little Nudge, because that's what people need. And um, it, it helps people to get over those two obstacles to find someone. All right, let's get mm -hmm. into it right now. Now, Erica has some great advice. Let's talk about the six secrets to a successful online dating profile. Yes. I'll set them up. Okay. You follow up. All right. All right. We'll the do. first one, choose the right photo. Yes, Go this is it. the most important. So the picture is the first thing people see. And you want to make sure it's good. Okay. So you have to have a clear, face headshot. Your first picture should be a clear shot of yourself because if it's blurry, if you're too far back, it looks like you're hiding something. Um, oh. Another point is to be in a picture by yourself. Um, when you're with other people, people have a tendency to compare. Right. The last thing you want is, is an to old be flame compared in there. here. Exactly, an old flame or <laughs> compare. I mean, I don't want anyone comparing us. So. Right, right, okay, I understand. All right, so, all right next. <laughs> Big and bold intro with a positive ending. Yes. Okay. So when you're doing online dating, you come up as a little thumbnail first. Um, people can't see your whole profile. They see just one line. So you want to make sure mm -hmm. to really catch their attention with that one line. So if it's boring, no one is even going to click on it. Okay. And then with mm -hmm. the ending, you want to make sure you've said all this great stuff about yourself. You want to end on a positive note. Um, you know, you just want that last thing to, to be positive. All right. Let's go through these really quickly now because I almost run out of time. Ask questions yep. and then we'll go, go into check the length. Ask questions first. Yeah. I always like to make it the profile an interactive thing so you know get someone involved if I say in my profile I want to explore Philly care to join me you can answer yes, yes I want to explore okay. too <laughs> very good very good details specifics yes so many people say I'm funny smart and attractive <laughs> okay I'm funny I, I think I'm hysterical <laughs> you probably <laughs> you are, you're good you're, <laughs> no you're good no. you probably think you're funny too but our funny our definition of funny might not be the same so mm -hmm. it's kind of that show don't tell you know don't say you're funny say something say funny. something funny exactly. okay what about answer the extra questions yeah all the online dating sites have extra questions so besides your main profile you have, you know, what do you like to do for fun? Where are your favorite hot spots? It's important to answer those because they're usually more specific and it gives someone something extra to read about you. Okay, now, bad lines. Erica has helped a lot of people yeah. and she's <laughs> come across some, shall we say, interesting profiles. Let's look at some bad lines and you tell us how you would change them. We're going to have to go over this pretty fast. Okay. But, but it's fun. You say this is the worst thing to put. I enjoy life and I like to have fun. Yeah, do you enjoy life and like to have fun? Yeah, I don't, was, I, is there something enjoy, wrong with that? No, I enjoy life and like to have fun, but it doesn't differentiate us. And you and I are pretty different. Okay, okay. Now here's one. If you're a cat lover, we won't get along. Yeah, that's that negative ending, right? I'd rather say, oh, gotcha. you know, how about, you know, my Fido is my main squeeze right now, you know? <laughs> okay, all right. You know, that says you love your dog and it, forget the negative part about cats. And finally, for the bad lines, I kind of like this one. <laughs> Cowboy fans need not apply. Oh my gosh. Now, men and women put that up, right? I do. I see that so often. I mean, it cracks me up, but how about just say, you know, I love my Eagles? Okay, okay. <laughs> but we want to make that point because there's no cowboy oh, gear okay. coming along. Okay. All right, and real quick, you, you, you've done it personally, right? I have. I have been with my boyfriend for two years. We just moved in and we met online. Give it up. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. We have more information on Erica's website, a little nudge on our website, cbsphilly.com. Just click on Talk Philly. Here's your forecast with Katie.